الحمد لله رب العالمين حمدا كثيرا طيبا مباركا فيه قال الله تعالى في كتابه الكريم بعد اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سبحانك لا علم لنا الا ما علمتنا انك انت العليم الحكيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقده من لساني يفقهوا قولي صدق الله العظيم Honorable viewers, brothers and sisters in Islam, brothers and sisters in humanity, to all our seekers of knowledge, seekers after the truth, and also to our YouTube and Facebook viewers, I greet you all once again with the universal greetings of peace and love. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May the peace, guidance, mercy of God Almighty be with each and every one of you. Welcome once again to another segment, another episode of Let's Talk Islam with Imran Muhammad. bringing the light of Islam to each and every one of you. I hope and pray that you're joining me this wonderful Monday evening in the best of health and faith by the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Alhamdulillah, we have very interesting and very packed program as usual for each and every one of you believing brothers and sisters. And so let us go straight to our program. Let us commence as usual with our opening Quranic recitation. Remember, whenever the Quran is recited, let us listen to it attentively. so that we may receive some mercy and some blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So let us commence with our opening Quranic recitation. Allah Akbar Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Maliki Yawm Al-Din إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين قال والقرآن المجيد بل عجبوا أن جاءهم منذر منهم فقال الكافرون هذا شيء عجيب أإذا متنا وكنا ترابا ذلك رجع بعيد قد علمنا ما تنقص الأرض منهم وعندنا كتاب حفيظ بل كذبوا بالحق لما جاءهم فهم في أمر فلم ينظروا إلى السماء فوقهم كيف بنيناها وزيناها كيف بنيناها وزيناها وما لها من فروج والأرض مددناها وألقينا فيها رواسي وأم فيها وأنبتنا فيها من كل زوج بهيج تبصرة وذكرى لكل عبد منيب ونزلنا من السماء ماء مباركا وَنَزَّلْنَا مِنَ السَّمَاءِ مَاءً مُبَارَكًا فَأَنبَتْنَا بِهِ فَأَنبَتْنَا بِهِ جَنَّاتٍ وَحَبَّ الْحَصِيدِ وَالنَّخْلَ بَاسِقَاتٍ لَّهَا طَلْعٌ نَّضِيدٌ رزقا للعباد 
وأحيينا به بلدة ميتا كذلك الخروج كذبت قبلهم قوم نوح وأصحاب الرس وثمود وعاد وفرعون وإخوان لوط وأصحاب الأيكة وقوم تبع كل كذب الرسل فحق وعيد أفعينا بالخلق الأول بل هم في لبس من خلق جديد ولقد خلقنا الإنسان ونعلم ما توسوس به نفسه الحمد لله صدق الله العظيم surely Allah سبحانه وتعالى God Almighty has spoken the truth that was our opening Quranic recitation to commence our program as usual paving the way beautifully for the remaining items of our program whatever blessings would have earned from that recitation we beg and pray that it will be showered upon each and every one of you all our brothers and sisters who uh, may be affected with any sort of difficulty any sort of hardship and trials in life then we beg and pray that the blessings earned will be showered upon each and every one of you by the permission of God Almighty. Remember our program this evening, Let's Talk Islam with Imran Muhammad is coming your way with the kind compliments and the courtesy of NNS Algo's Customs Brokerage Service. They are located at 49 Public Road Kitty in Georgetown and also check out their branch office at Lot 10A Public Road Cornelia Ida on the west coast of the Amara 225-5495 or 5010991 the number to call for more information with regards to the services that they offer with over 21 years in the customs brokerage business VNP supermarket 20 North Lenora um, public road on the west coast of Dermaro also Wolf Furniture Store they are located at Lenora public road on the west coast of Dermaro 268-3913 the number to call Dollar Empire Incorporated at Dinar Trading Lot 1 Lamaha and Cumming Street you can make contact with Brother Iqbal there on telephone number 231-7293. Gafsons Industry, their head office located at Ru Magdum on the East Bank of Damara. And also they have their branch offices at various locations throughout the length and breadth of our country. For more information, contact them at 226-3666 or 225-6412. Bacchus Drug Store, 24 Safan and Hose Street in Georgetown. Contact Brother Bobby Deer on telephone number 227-2604 or 650-2255. Westside Taxi Service, 38 Lagrange Public Road, West Bank, Demara, 500-4066 or 500-1244. And also R&S Ali's Trucking Service. They are located at 63 Tribe Village, East Coast, Demara, 6253826-645-3207. And lastly, in memory of my dear and beloved parents, Nazar Muhammad, Bibi Akila Muhammad, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, God Almighty, bless these brothers and sisters, bless their blisses, bless their earnings. Um, and we humbly ask that you try to support our brothers and sisters, support their business, support their services, so that they will be able to support our programs and programs of this nature, inshallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless them and may this uh, initiative to make this investment in this educational program be a means for them to enter into the agenda, into the paradise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let us go to our reminder of the dear believing brothers and sisters and we will have more on our program. Let's talk Islam with Imran Muhammad. Take a look at our reminder of the day. A question I have for myself and yourselves. Wouldn't we like to be friends of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Imagine if Allah says that man is my friend. Allahu Akbar. Imagine, wouldn't you like to be a friend of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Well, the answer is yes, indeed. We all want to be friends of Allah. So how to become a friend of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is mentioned in the Quran, Surah Yunus. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says verses, and I'm sure a lot of us would know these verses by heart. Allah says, behold, indeed, the friends of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No need for them to fear nor grieve, not at all. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, this is verse number 62 of Surah Yunus and the two verses after that. They are the ones who believe and they have taqwa. That's all you need, two qualities. To become a friend of Allah, you need to be a believer 
and you need to have taqwa. In order to be, to be a believer, you need to have two main qualities. You need to worship Allah alone without associating partners with him. And you need to follow the traditions of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. If we have these two qualities, we are believers. On top of that, we need to have taqwa. Taqwa meaning be conscious of Allah. Create a barrier between you and the fire of Allah by engaging in commands and abstaining from prohibitions. That is called taqwa, piety. If you are a pious believer, you are a friend of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah says such people for them, there is good news, glad tidings in this world as well as the next. In the narration, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Man aada li waliyan faqad aadhantuhu bil harb. Whoever has harmed a friend of mine, I have announced war against him. This is what Allah says. And this is why we say never ever harm people. You may never know who is the friend of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala befriend us and may he make us from those who are truly his friends. Welcome back to our program. That was our reminder of the day segment. Alhamdulillah. Remember, believe in brothers and sisters, respected viewers. You can continue to view our program right here every Monday evenings at 8 here, right on channel 69. We have our YouTube channel as well. We humbly ask and advise that you subscribe to our YouTube channel. All our programs are uploaded there. All of our episodes, uh, Alhamdulillah. If you do not have the time to view our program on the television, then you can view them right on our YouTube channel uh, also. We have our Facebook page. Follow us right there for more information with regards to Halal and Haram, with regards to Moon Sighting Update. We use that platform, Alhamdulillah, to sh uh, upload all of our programs there as well. You can view those programs there whenever you have time. So follow us on our Facebook page and also stay connected via our WhatsApp group, 6226842, the number to subscribe be a part and parcel of that group. We have approximately over 200 members that are part and parcel of that group and so we use that platform, alhamdulillah, to share information such as halal and haram, such as moon sighting updates, such as um, a hadith of the day and different reminders, different exhortation, different quotes, different uh, uh, verse of the day. And so these little advice act as uh, a good iman booster for each and every one of us, inshallah. And so stay connected. 6226842 that is our number to our whatsapp group inshallah ta'ala believe in brothers and sisters i have a very special guest on our program i'd like to invite maulana abu bakr who will deliver our feature presentation on our program this evening let's talk islam with imran muhammad let us go to our feature presentation here is none other than maulana abu bakr assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh Beloved brothers and sisters in Islam, brothers and sisters in humanity, may the special peace and guidance and blessings of God Almighty be with all of us. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen wa salatu wa salamu ala Rasulillah al-Kareem wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in amma ba'd. All praise are for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We thank Allah jalla wa ala and we glorify Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the creator of the heavens and the earth and the master of the day of judgment. And we beseech Allah Jalla wa ala his blessings and salutations, his salawat and taslimat upon our dear beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and upon his companions and upon all those who choose to tread in his path until the last day. Ameen, Allahumma ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. And at this time, subhanAllah, we humbly and sincerely, collectively, Allahu Akbar, we beg Allah Jalla wa ala to have mercy on the whole world. Brothers and sisters in Islam, say Ameen. We are begging Allah Jalla wa ala for His mercy and His guidance for the whole world. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy upon the hungry. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy upon the oppressed. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us all and guide us all. Ameen. Allahumma ameen ya Rabbil Alameen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah jalla wa ala, the creator of the heavens and the earth, the master of the day of judgment. Allah jalla wa ala, who is before everything and after everything, and above everything and beyond everything. Allah jalla wa ala, the creator of all things, and the controller of all things and the designer of all things. 
He is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who created every single thing that you can see and touch, Allah Akbar, from a blade of grass to the clouds in the sky, to the sun and moon in the heavens, and the stars, subhanAllah, that twinkle so beautifully upon us like gems in the sky. These are the designs of the creation of Allah Jalla wa ala, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created all of this, subhanAllah, for the benefit of mankind. Everything in this world is for the benefit of mankind. For mankind has been created not for this life but for the next life. And everything in this world has been created for the servitude, for the benefit of mankind. Allahu Akbar. Not for mankind to abuse but for mankind to benefit from inshaAllah ta'ala. For mankind to care for and develop and benefit from subhanAllah. And for mankind, Allah Akbar, collectively to protect and grow Allah Akbar on the foundations of these tremendous blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, هُوَ الَّذِي سَخَّرَ لَكُمْ مَا فِي الْأَرْضِ جَمِيعًا That it is He, subhanAllah, who has granted you sovereignty, has granted you authority over everything, subhanAllah, that you see a little child, maybe 12 years old, or 10 years old, and he's able to control a horse that weighs hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pounds and is a way more stronger than him. And so SubhanAllah, and if you go to places like Thailand and India, you will see Allah Akbar, a child controlling an elephant that weighs a ton and more, Allah Akbar, and it's so big. But Allah Jalla wa ala has granted us mankind, SubhanAllah, authority over his creation so that we may care for them control them, benefit them, and benefit from them, inshaAllah ta'ala. And so everything in this world is in the servitude of mankind. And this is so because Allah Jalla wa ala, God Almighty, God Almighty in His infinite mercy, He loves you, subhanAllah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves you, Allah Akbar. There is no questioning the love of God Almighty. That when you look at the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the design of time and motion and movement in this world and the passage of time itself, you see signs, indicators, and measurements of the tremendous mercy, the immeasurable mercy and wisdom of God Almighty that is invested for the benefit of mankind. And so subhanAllah, the beginning of the day marks a new beginning, subhanAllah, as the sun rises over the horizon, subhanAllah, a new day, a new day begins. Allah Akbar. And it goes into its zenith. And you have the brightest part of the day. And then it goes into decline, subhanAllah. And that blooming and that rising of the sun and that blossoming of the new day marks a new beginning for everything, subhanAllah. The plants benefit. The animals benefit, the birds benefit, and mankind benefits, subhanAllah. But in these are signs, Allah Akbar, of the care of God Almighty, and the kindness and the wisdom of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so we must never forget, Allah Akbar, that everything that is born into this world, even the day and the night, subhanAllah, they may be born beautifully in the Allah Akbar, they reach their peak, Allah Akbar, and then they decline. And in these are signs that everything will decline, Allah Akbar. You plant a seed and a sapling comes out and a tree grows and it has flowers and it has fruits, subhanAllah. But then it will die, Allah Akbar. Every living thing dies in this world. This is a temporary world. This world is designed, Allah Akbar, not to be infinite and immortal, but subhanAllah, to be temporary, Allah Akbar. That everything is in a state of decline in this world. And time, Allah Akbar, Time is the master of all things in this world. Time, Allah Akbar, marks the diminishing realities that we so passionately invest every ounce of strength that we have. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to know that subhanAllah, the time, time is your greatest benefactor in this world. Time is your greatest opportunity in this world. And so you must value it. You should value it, subhanAllah. You should value it quite a, quite a great amount, a great deal of value you should allot, subhanAllah, to time. But amazingly, subhanAllah, mankind takes time very lightly. 
and takes the value of time very lightly. That in the Holy Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who is the creator of the heavens and the earth, he is the owner of all things. And so he swears in the Holy Quran, وَالْعَصْرِ إِنَّ الْإِنسَانَ لَفِي خُسْرِ That by time, mankind is in a state of loss, except Allah Akbar, those who have faith, and who substantiate that faith, they substantiate that faith, subhanAllah, with actions, not just any actions and any kind of deeds, but deeds, Allahu Akbar, that are filled with righteousness and piety, and goodness and mercy and justice, subhanAllah, a'malu saliha, subhanAllah, righteous deeds, and Allah Akbar, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala explains to us in the surah of the Holy Quran, in the chapter of the Holy Quran, that there is a direct connection between time and the lost nature of man, Allah Akbar. That the lost nature of man, subhanAllah, is largely the failure of mankind, is largely because of his abuse of time and his negligence towards time, subhanAllah. And so there are indicators in this verse of the Holy Qur'an. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah Akbar, He doesn't need to emphasize anything, but as a mercy to me and you, as a mercy to mankind, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala emphasizes by swearing, Allah Akbar. Asr means Allah Akbar, it means an epoch, an age, an era, a time, subhanAllah. And so God Almighty swears by time, subhanAllah. Why la ilaha illallah? Because by your utilization of time, or by your abuse of time, you determine a great deal of your future, subhanAllah. You determine a great deal of what you are going to be, not just tomorrow, but today too, subhanAllah. And so Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, beloved brothers and sisters, let us value time. This is the lesson, Allah Akbar, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to value time. Because as Imam al-Hasan al-Basri, one of the great savants of Islam, from the second generation of Islam, he says, subhanAllah, he explains to us that man, oh man, you are but a collection of days. Allah Akbar, that you are a collection of days. And once those days finish, you are finished, subhanAllah. That your life is measured in days and your days are counted, Allah Akbar. And they are measured, subhanAllah, that you will not pass this world without your appointed time. And so you have an appointment, subhanAllah, but we do not know when. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to understand that subhanAllah, utilize your time. And if you don't utilize your time well, you will, Allah Akbar, you ruin not just your present, but your future and your ultimate destination will also be lost, subhanAllah. And so utilize your time in the name of faith, with the activities of faith, subhanAllah. And for that to be successful and for you to protect that, you need to be, Allah Akbar, steadfast on the truth, on haqq, wa tawasaw bil haqq, wa tawasaw bil sabr. And you need to be patient. You need to be patient, subhanAllah. And so in this whole chapter, in the small three verse, Surah of the Holy Quran, in the small chapter of the Holy Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala explains to subhanAllah the very core nature of the human being. What is it that will determine your success and your failure in life? And time is so important, subhanAllah, that Allah Jalla wa ala does not simply swear by Wal Asr, Allah Akbar, the word wow means and in Arabic, wa means and, but in this place it's an oath that Allah Jalla wa Ala takes. It's a qasm, Allah Akbar, Wal Asr, by time, subhanAllah. And Allah Jalla wa Ala again in the Holy Quran, He says, Wal Fajr, by morning time. And so for different times in the day and night, Allah Jalla wa Ala swears by them, subhanAllah, that He has separated time into different periods, Allah Akbar, and he swears by each one of them that <coughs> by day and by night, وَالْلَيْلِ وَالنَّهَارِ by day and by night, subhanAllah, in the Holy Quran, and then by midday, by the late morning, وَالضُحَى Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala swears again, subhanAllah, so that Allah Akbar we may know the value for time, because today, today, subhanAllah, time has been commodified. The human being is being commodified. SubhanAllah, you have been made into a commodity. The people are trading your time, SubhanAllah. The king, our younger generation, SubhanAllah, they go on the phones, they go on the so-called smartphone that smarts them, SubhanAllah, that steals their time, la ilaha illallah. It takes away their time. They Once you open that phone, la ilaha illallah, you're stuck there for an hour, two hours, three hours, four hours, la ilaha illallah. 
scrolling through and scrolling through and scrolling through. SubhanAllah, you wonder, where do they get all of this money to finance all of that? Where do they get the money from, SubhanAllah? The money comes from selling your time. It comes from selling your time on the internet. They are buying and selling your time as a commodity, subhanAllah. And they are giving you these things to entice you to stay there. And they are exploiting your trust and your confidence in them. And Allah Akbar, they are abusing you, la ilaha illallah. And they have monetized, they have made it a money-making item, your time. Your time has been made into a money-making item, subhanAllah. And so they are betting that you would stay on so much, you will stay for so many hours. And when so many people stay for so many hours on a certain program, that program, Allah Akbar, gains value and it is then bought and sold because of your time, subhanAllah. But time is your life. And anyone, Allah Akbar, that robs you of your time has robbed you of your life, Allah Akbar. And so we should be smart and intelligent about this, subhanAllah. Let us be smart about this, la ilaha illallah. That our time is valuable. Your time is so valuable, la ilaha illallah, that you can utilize your time to gain paradise. Allah Akbar, spend your time where it is most beneficial, not just for you, but for the world around you. Make the world a better place, subhanAllah. That when you spend time with someone, Allahu Akbar, with your wife, your husband, your children, your family, you're actually giving them part of your life. It is an invaluable contribution. Allahu Akbar. And so many times relationships usually, Allahu Akbar, in most situations, relationships break not because of the absence of money or the absence of facilities. It breaks because of the lack of time. Father and son relationships break, Allah Akbar. Oh, husband and wife, the romantic relationship between the two, they break, subhanAllah, it breaks. Why? Because of the lack of time. Because they don't spend enough time with each other, subhanAllah. And children complain and teachers complain that parents are spending less and less time with their children today. But you need to spend time, subhanAllah, for the things that are more important to you. Because Allah Akbar, at the end of the day, you can purchase anything in the world. You can buy cameras, you can buy houses, you can buy cars, you can buy whatever, Allah Akbar. But you cannot buy time. You cannot buy time, subhanAllah. Once your time has come, it has come and that's it. And once you have passed through the appointment of time, Allah Akbar, you cannot come back. You cannot come back. It doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter how strong you are, how powerful you are, how rich you are. You cannot come back, Allahu Akbar. No one has returned from death, subhanAllah. No one has ever returned from death, subhanAllah. And so may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from wasting time. Time, Allahu Akbar, is our ultimate value. And you should spend it only where it is beneficial for you and those near and dear to you, Allahu Akbar, so that they may in turn benefit from you too, Allahu Akbar. That you can buy food for a child, and you can buy books for a child, and you can buy toys for a child, subhanAllah. But there is nothing like spending time with your child, with your children, Allah Akbar. And so many wealthy people complain that their spouses are not spending time with them. That we have all of this facility and all of this comfort, but I'm uncomfortable because my husband is not here. He's not spending time with me. Or my wife, Allah Akbar, subhanAllah. And so these are the realities, Allah Akbar, that the human being, Allah Akbar, the human being is a social being and your time is what bonds you together. La ilaha illallah. And so if you want to know the value of time, if you really want to know the value of time and of life for that matter, then Allah Akbar, remember that if someone gave you, if one, someone was to give you a chest of gold, a chest of gold for you to carry, swim with it over the Demara River and if you reach over on the other side, it will be yours. A chest of gold, let's say it's 100 pounds or 150 pounds of gold, solid pure gold. 99 carats gold, subhanAllah. And you have it on your back and you start walking and you start to tread water and you start, subhanAllah, and you're going across. And you have all this gold and the other shore looks enticing and it looks close and it looks easy and it looks nice. But then when you go halfway through, three quarter way through, subhanAllah, you have already crossed half. But then you start to sink, you start to drown, you start to go down, you start to bubble, you start to panic, you start to suffocate, you start to struggle for air and to breathe, subhanAllah. Although you may only have a short way left, Allahu Akbar, 
You will leave it. You will take that gold and throw it away so that it doesn't suffocate you, it doesn't drown you. Even though it may be a short way left, subhanAllah, you will throw it away because life is more important. Life is more important and more valuable than that whole chest of gold, than a whole chest of treasures, subhanAllah. Because Allah Akbar, gold can come and it can come again. But life, Allah Akbar, once it's gone, it's gone forever. And so let's value our time, subhanAllah. Our elders teach us, subhanAllah, that you can utilize your time to become anything you want. We have 24 hours in our day. 24 hours in our day. Allahu Akbar. Every successful person in the world, whom, whosoever has achieved whatever it is that they have set out to achieve, and have achieved it over a period of time, they will tell you, subhanAllah, that they achieved it, Allahu Akbar, by utilizing the same 24 hours that you have, and the same 24 hours that I have. And everybody utilizes their time, subhanAllah, for their own objectives. And they achieve their objectives because of the way in which they utilize their time and they portion their time and they segment their time and they set up their timetable and they still have time to sleep and they still have time to eat and they still have time to exercise and they still have time to pray and they still have time to study, subhanAllah. But if you were to portion your time and set up your timetable properly, Allah Akbar, in 24 hours you have a great deal that you can do. There's a great deal that you can do. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends the Messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to teach us about time, subhanAllah. And so he says, take from your life for your death, subhanAllah. Utilize your life before you die and then you have nothing else that you can do. Allahu Akbar. Those of whom have passed away, may the mercy of God Almighty be with them and may the forgiveness of, of God Almighty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be with them. The reality is, subhanAllah. We are still here and we still have this opportunity to utilize our time well. If people can utilize your time and commodify your time and commodify your life and monetize your minutes and your hours and get rich over it, then subhanAllah, so should you. And you should not allow yourself to be manipulated by the system. You should not allow yourself to be manipulated by the system. The Prophet ﷺ, he said, take from your youth for when you will get old, Allahu Akbar. And take from your times of good health for when you may get sick, subhanAllah. Utilize your time. Utilize your time. He emphasized time so much so that once he said, Subhanallah, لا يستوي يومان في حياة المؤمن. No two days are equal in the life of a believer because he's, he or she is in a constant state of growth and development and refinement and closeness and connectivity and connection and relationship with the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Always advancing, Subhanallah. That progress is the only natural reality that has stayed with humanity from the beginning of human history, Subhanallah. And so they will always be progress and so you can choose subhanallah whether you want to be part of that progress or you want to lag behind subhanallah and so Allah Akbar, if you utilize your time well you can go and you can do and you can achieve anything subhanallah and we see this in the lives of every successful person in the world Allah Akbar. one of the common denominator of all denominators of all of the scholars of Islam from the beginning of time till now Allah Akbar. All of the scholars, subhanAllah, whether they're Hanafi, Shafi, Maliki, Hanbali, Rahimahumullah Ta'ala, whether they're Mufassirin or Muhaddithin or Allah Akbar, whatever, Fuqaha or Muhaddithin or Mu'arikhin or SubhanAllah or Usuliyin, whatever scholar, whatever area of science of scholarship that they master or if they master, SubhanAllah, multiple areas of Islamic sciences, SubhanAllah, one of the common denominator between all of them is that they never wasted time. Imam al Sayyuti, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, who stopped writing at the age of 40. At the age of 40, he started writing Allah Akbar at the age of 17. When Allah Akbar, there were no, there were no fountain pens, there were no computers and typewriters at the time. There was no Allah Akbar. Now you can speak to the computer and it will write it on the screen for you. Allah Akbar. At that time, when there was no electricity and no washing machines and no stoves, the stoves was Allah Akbar, a chula, a fireside, you have to light it. Allah Akbar. At that time, he started to write from the age of 17 when he wrote his first book on uh, Arabic grammar. And then Allah Akbar, when he stopped writing at the age of 40, subhanAllah, some 40, 400 years ago, he died. May Allah have mercy upon him in 1606, subhanAllah. Imam Jalal his grave, rahimahullah ta'ala, is in Cairo. By the time he stopped writing, Allah Akbar, he had written 300 books 
was declared during his lifetime and another 400 after he passed away. SubhanAllah. Some 700 books and a book was not one volume, some were multiple volumes, SubhanAllah. 700, more than 700, Allahu Akbar. And so if he could have done that at the time when there was no electricity, no electric lighting, subhanAllah, then imagine what me and you can do, Allah Akbar. But if you ask people today, did you read a book today? Have you read a page this week? Have you read a book in the last year? Allah Akbar, not writing it, but just reading it. And for the people, Allah Akbar, whose first commandment is Iqra, this is a very sad state of affairs. That not only have we stepped away, Allah Akbar, from reading, but we have now become a people of La'u, Allah Akbar, in Surah Mu'minun, the Holy Prophet, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that the believers are those people who are protective of their salah. They are protective of their salah. And they are protective of their chastity. Allah Akbar. And they are always in opposition to mischief and wastefulness and indulgence. وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ عَنِ اللَّهُ مُعْرِضُونَ And Allah Akbar, they are always, subhanAllah, stepping away from the wastage of time, from making time meaningless, from idle presence and activities, non-beneficial entertainment. They always, Mu'ribun means those who oppose Allah Akbar, the wasting of time, for non, the, the utilization of time for non-beneficial purposes. They, the believer, the mu'minun, the believers, the people of Iman are those who are in opposition, subhanAllah, to the wasting of time. And in Surah Furqan, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala described it, أَلَّذِينَ مَرُّوا وَالَّذِينَ مَرُّوا بِاللَّهِ مَرُّوا كِرَامًا That when they pass by nonsense, foolishness, idleness, mischief, uh, subhanAllah, sin, Allah Akbar, and you know, Allah Akbar, all of those things, مَرُّوا كِرَامًا They walk by, they don't get involved. If they happen to pass by it, they never go there, but if they happen to pass by it, they pass by it with dignity, subhanAllah. That being idle and killing time and wasting time has never been part of the nature of the believer, that the people of Iman, Allah Akbar, value their time. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us value for time. Because Allah Akbar, the Holy Prophet sallallahu wa sallam, he said that if you were to recite Surah Ikhlas, قُلْهُ اللَّهُ وَحَدْ عَوْذُ اللَّهِ شَطَانُ رَجِيمُ بِسْمِ اللَّهِ الرَّحْمَنِ الرَّحِيمُ قُلْهُ اللَّهُ وَحَدْ مِنْ لَهُ الصَّمَدْ لَمْ يَمِدْ وَلَمْ يُولَدْ وَلَمْ يَكُنْ لَهُ كُفُونَ أَحَدْ صَدَقَ اللَّهُ الْعَظِيمُ Recited ten times, subhanAllah, a palace. A palace would be built for you in paradise. Allah Jalla wa Ala will decree the erection of a palace, subhanAllah. And the palaces of paradise are made with stones, Allah Akbar, of gold and silver and ruby and gemstones, subhanAllah. And so those, Allah Akbar, those are Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creation in paradise for you. And so two minutes of your time has that value in the hereafter. SubhanAllah, that it has that value in the hereafter. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy, subhanAllah, that we can utilize our time to gain so much and yet we waste our time. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. May Allah jalla wa ala guide us, subhanAllah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us to being a better people with better value, not only for our time and our life, but subhanAllah, our contribution to our society, and subhanAllah, spending time with our loved ones and our families, and building our akhirah, because we are here, subhanAllah, to be jannatis, to build our paradise, to build our gardens of paradise, to cultivate them, subhanAllah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept us, may Allah forgive us, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy on the whole world. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. وجزاكم الله خيرا والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته. جزاكم الله خيرا مولانا ساب. thank you very much for that beautiful presentation. الحمد لله. and we must also thank مولانا ساب for taking the time off off of his busy schedule to be here to be a part of our program. الحمد لله. may Allah سبحانه وتعالى God Almighty bless مولانا bless him for this effort that he's making, alhamdulillah, and may this be a means for him to enter into the Jannah, into the paradise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Believing brothers and sisters, remember, you can continue to view our program right here, channel 6 to 9, every Monday evenings at 8.30, alhamdulillah. Don't forget our YouTube channel, our Facebook page, and also our WhatsApp group, stay connected by the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is now that we bring our curtains down on our program. I'd like to thank each and every one of you, thank my sponsors, for supporting our program every single week. We'd like to thank you viewers, brothers and sisters for tuning in to our program and to keep us company, alhamdulillah. 
and we hope and pray that you're benefiting tremendously from our program, all of our exhortation, all of our reminders, and all of uh, the information that we're sharing on our program, then we ask that you try to inculcate this in your life, try to act upon them, and also share this with those who are absent by the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So join me again next week Monday for another episode of Let's Talk Islam with Imam Muhammad. Remember, bringing the light of Islam to each and every one of you. Until then, may the peace, guidance, mercy of God Almighty be with each and every one of you. I leave you now with our quotation of the day as we bring our curtains down on our program. Ya Imam al-Anbiya Anta fi al-wujdani hayyun Anta lil-aynayni dayyun Anta inda al-hawbiriyun Anta hadun wa safiyun Ya Habibi, Ya Muhammad Ya Nabi, Salam alayka Ya Rasul Salam alayka, salawatullah alayka Ya Nabi, salam alayka Ya Rasul, salam alayka Ya Habib Gafors, manufacturers of the perfect concrete hollow block in sizes 4 inches and 6 inches Certified by the Ghana National Bureau of Standards and hydraulically tested by the University of Guyana to 2,000 pounds per square inch. Pilot packed and shrink wrapped for easy transportation too. So get your supplies of the best quality made concrete hollow blocks in Guyana and also get a 12.5% discount. For superior service, quality and competitive prices, visit Gafu's Mega Complex at Matdu and our outlets at Rose Hall, Kanji, Bedford Acting, Memes, Land of Canaan and Parika. Now you can really go shopping in Lenora at VNP Supermarket 20 North Lenora Public Road. Come in and enjoy great prices on the widest range of groceries, beverages, frozen meats and vegetables, and ice cream too, even food for your pets. Get detergents and bathroom soaps and cleaners, the full range and all the brands. Pots and pans for the kitchen, cutlery and crockery for dining. And all the household items you need to make homes so comfortable. The ladies will love our cosmetics collection perfect for gifts for special occasions and just what you promised yourself. V&P Supermarket 20 North Lenora Public Road, West Coast, Demerara. Kids need to be healthy and taking care of them can be difficult. That's why at Bacchus Drugstore we stock the widest range in children's vitamins, tonics, formulas for colds, coughs and fevers and other healthcare products at the lowest prices. Remember, your kids are your future. Take care of them. Bacchus Drugstore, where good health counts. Let's
الشعب وداد ليكن ربك للأرض مداد للأرض مداد قلم أنت فكم عبرت عنها بنيت المجد أطوادا شداد أطوادا شداد أنت يا ملهم شعب أن يبر عشت كم حقق للشعب مراد للشعب مراد أنت يا ملهم شعب أن يبر ليكن يومك للشعب وداداً ليكن 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 حبك للأرض مداد ليكن يومك للشعب وداداً ليكن